Hello my students, my grade is for the course Hydraulic uh, Machines, Master Course. Okay, this course actually consists of two parts. Part one will be given by myself, Dr. Muhammad Farid Khalil, and this is my email for uh, connections or for... Okay, uh, it will cover uh, hydraulic hydropower plants, hydraulic turbines and uh, different turbines and different things dealt with, with the hydropower plants. Uh, <clears throat> part two will be given by Dr. Muhammad Sweden. It will cover the some topics about the application of hydraulic machines like pumps and uh, pressure exchangers in the desalination field. Uh, when are we are dealing with hydroelectric power plants, I have to say, actually, it is coming from a gift from Allah. Uh, it is the cycle of the water in the, uh, in the system, in the world, uh, due to uh, sun. Uh, uh, Ancient uh, people know the effect of hydro uh, of of hydro uh, energy uh, generated due to the difference of water level from point to point, and they use it to return uh, to turn this water wheel, where this water wheel can be used as a pump. As you see, the internal circuit, we have some buckets. It will. Uh, full of water and return it and uh, deliver it to higher level from lower, lower level to higher level and also in uh, al Fayum we have a different or several uh, water wheels we call it sakya sakya here as as we see uh, it lift the water from lower lower to upper level and then go to a small canal to the uh, uh, to the uh, cultivation area, cultivated area. Okay, this is a, another sketch for the same idea. You have a dam here, and behind the dam, the water level in the storage area, which we call it a, a storage lake, artificial lake, like a high dam lake in Egypt, and then the water flow through the uh, channels inside the dam, then to the turbine, and then to downstream, to go to uh, downstream cities and areas like like Cairo, like Asyut, like the different places where the water is required. <clears throat> Then we can say the difference between water level upstream and downstream, we call it H in meter, and the flow rate goes through the water uh, channel inside the dam, uh, we call it Q in meter cube per second. If you drive it by rho G, rho here is one of water, if it's clear water to 1000 kilogram per meter cube, and G 9.81 meter. Uh, per second square if you apply this and divide by 1000 it will give you the water power in kilowatt here is a hydraulic system for hydraulic sketch for the uh, dam uh, dam and upstream in the left side upstream level and downstream in the right side you can see we have here a tunnel that to transmit water from upstream the dam to down to the turbine and then to the downstream. Here we have a gross head. It's a difference between upstream and downstream. <coughs> we call it gross head. If you have a long uh, uh, tunnel which convert or pipeline which uh, transmit the water from upstream to the turbine, you have and uh, the the draft tube the downstream. Uh, which take the water from turbine to downstream. You have energy loss here due to friction and other losses. This means you can, uh, if if we take H gross gross head minus and losses 
through these piping systems, you can get a net head capital H. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And we mean we we mean uh, water power. We mean here by the uh, W multiplied by Q by H. Multiply this is a water power, but if you uh, the, uh, multiply it by turbine efficiency, turbine generator efficiency will give you the output uh, power in, of electrical energy, the electrical output power. If you multiply it only by eta turbine, that will give you the output mechanical power from the turbine. Okay, what is turbine? Turbine is a machine which converts water energy or water power to mechanical energy or mechanical power. And then this mechanical energy goes to the transfer to the generator. It will be, uh, it will be converted to electrical energy. Let us go to the advantage of hydroelectricity. Uh, hydroelectricity, the electrical energy generated from hydropower. It is clean, no emissions, no uh, gas emissions, uh, renewable and cheap. Uh, flow of water is free and reliable. You only have the control of the water in your country. There is no other force will control you. If there is some changes in water supply, this changes in water supply due to change in rain intensity uh, maybe all over the year or over the century, you, it will be predicted due to the experience of irrigation people. Uh, the water stored in the reservoir provides us with a continuous supply during actually uh, or especially during the dry weather the season where is no no drain okay uh, actually there there are uh, a new thing small scale hydropower plant which generates about 1 mega or less or can be generate about 10 kilowatt uh, the, the the advantage of this it's a simple construction and inexpensive fuel cheap small communities can get its electricity from this local stream by small scale hydro plants also hydro res hydro reservoirs or water reservoirs can be used to control the flood for irrigation and for recreation uh, recreational activities such as boating and uh, and fishing Okay. Here it's uh, this sketch show you the the cost cost of unit power or unit energy generated from different source of electrical energy like here fossil fuel steam power plant nuclear power plant hydroelectric power plant gas turbine power plant the cost consists of three items the green one represents the fuel cost the red one represents the maintenance cost. The uh, yellow one represents the operational cost. <clears throat> As we see, the total cost per uh, kilowatt hour maximum was for the gas turbine plants. The lower was for hydroelectric power plants. <clears throat> steam in between steam and steam power plant and the nuclear power plant in between the minimum and the maximum cost. As we see here in electrical, hydroelectric power plant, no fuel cost at all because water is free. Dam disrupt the natural flow of the water and disrupt the ecosystem upstream and downstream. It's a new era for the water properties and the uh, the area around this uh, dam and the behind this dam and downstream this dam. Creature that live in the water and animals that live on the land can be seriously harmed and changes in the flow uh, by change in the flow of the river. <clears throat> Reservoirs flood 
people's home and farmlands, the people who live in the settlements and who use the land may not want reservoir there, even if they want electricity. Like this problem is all over the world. The people who uh, have homes uh, will be flooded by the uh, dam, lake. Uh, they don't like to leave their uh, homes and it will cause a social problem as in uh, as a noba, uh, a noba problem. Large capital cost of civil and work uh, uh, and the mechanical and electrical works are uh, and equipments. It's a, a large project. It will require large capital cost. Let us go to uh, our uh, equations. Water power equal W multiplied by Q multiplied by H, and we call W here, it's G 9.81 multiplied by specific gravity of water. Here it's if a clear water, it will be one. If water uh, has a silt, it will be more than one. Uh, it will be in the specific weight will be in kilonewton per meter cube. <clears throat> this, uh, the head difference H in meter and head difference between upstream and downstream turbine output power will be equal the power output equal efficiency of turbine multiplied by uh, water power also in kilowatt actually uh, efficiency of turbine overall efficiency reaches about higher values like 96% uh, we have here a dimensionless number, call it a specific speed. This is a key design, design key of water uh, turbines and pumps and also compressors. Any machines uh, works with fluid, you have to know its specific speed. The definition of specific speed, specific speed is N multiplied by root of power output divided by H to power 1.25 all and SI units, uh, N and RPM, P naught in kilowatt, H in. Let us go to the classification of hydroelectric power plants. We have a large hydro power plants. If the power output is more than 100 megawatt, uh, it will feed its electricity to a large electrical network or electricity network. For medium head, power plant between of power output between 15 and 100 also feed megawatt also feed its power to uh, network <coughs> to we have in Egypt here a unified electricity network which collect the electricity generated from Aswan to Al Saloum and collected and distributed either from uh, hydro power plant, thermal power plants, and in the future, also nuclear power plants. For many hydro power plants, its power output less than one megawatt from 0.2 to one megawatt. It, is, it can be standalone or, or standalone to, to cover the requirements for the community near this hydro power plant without need to uh, transmit electricity from electrical network or it can also feed its electricity to electric network for micro and pico hydro power plants it's small power output for micro hydro power plant power output from 5 to 100 kilowatt usually provided its electricity provide its electricity to small and small community or rural industry in a remote area away from uh, electricity network. Biko a small, small, uh, very small hydropower plant is about uh, uh, less than less than four five kilowatt. Also the same, it's a standalone 
means cover the electricity for the uh, uh, community around it. Okay. What about hydro uh, turbine or water turbine? We have a lot of uh, turbines, but we will concentrate about these four types. Pelton wheel, Francis turbine, propeller turbine, and Kaplan turbine. And the fourth one will be a mini and micro turbines, we call it uh, bulb turbine. Okay, also this from Sulzer. I think Sulzer is a German company. It gives us uh, the same idea. We have Pelton wheel, Francis turbine, and we have Francis turbine here, about three items or three types of Francis. We will know in the next uh, uh, lectures about that. And we have here below them the propeller and the Kaplan, etc. The charge, the head changes from, varies from one meter or one, from two meters to 2,000 meter. For high head, you can actually use Pelton wheel or Francis turbine. And for, for medium head, you can use fr uh, Francis turbine and Kaplan turbine and etc. There will be uh, some uh, discussion about which one I can prefer. The charge also changes from say 0.1 meter cube per second to about 1000 meter cube per second where you can use the uh, Francis turbine and uh, propeller turbine. Okay, let us see here it's a, a picture about taken actually from from uh, Sulzer or Escherwitz uh, catalog, <clears throat> Escherwitz literature about the efficiency and the percentage flow, percentage volume flow, flow volume and Q meter per second. Actually, this represents the percentage load. If you say the percentage load here, uh, full load represent 100%. I think we have four types of turbines at full load. Almost the four uh, types have the same efficiency. But if you go away from the full load, as we go down uh, for lower flow rates or lower uh, load, you can find number two, turbine number two, which is Francis turbine, has a lower efficiency at lower load. But uh, Pelton wheel actually has higher efficiency, and also three and four has, we can say, three and four, we can say a variable pitch or variable blade uh, axle flow turbine, we call it a Kaplan turbine. 